Hi, I'm Luke Sherville. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. So, back in episode 92, I kind of talked about the same job that I'm on now. It happens like once a quarter. And so, it's handy because I can try out new things because we kind of know what the basics are. Uh, we've honed it down to where we just have you know, a certain amount of ellipsoidals to S60 sky panels. And then once in a while we have like a DJ that comes and introduces speakers, opens the show, introduces speakers, closes the show. And so we've done a little uh, color patterning uh, around that person. But uh, this time we're changing things up a little bit. Uh, instead of using Luminaire, which is what I've been using up till now, I'm starting to learn a new program. It's an ETC lighting control program called uh, EOS uh, Nomad. And so basically it brings all the capabilities of their larger consoles to a laptop. Now, it's not as nice in a laptop because you don't have physical buttons and sliders as well as many screens. You just have your laptop. So eventually, you know, maybe that can become a PC or whatever, but since I'm Mac-based, I just started with the Mac version and so you get a dongle to uh, open up the software and then you get a, a, a box a gadget 2 box that has two DMX out so then I can just go to my AKS transmitter and then now I have uh, five uh, receivers out in the house for the different areas where we have lights so front lights back lights fill lights and then some color and then we have like a special for uh, when they do a demo, we do we have a podium light, so like a key fill and back. So, and then just for one little extra fun bit, uh, I incorporated the new Aperture 300D Mark II with the spotlight accessory in a 36 degree barrel as one of the uh, ellipsoidals. So instead of renting another ellipsoidal. I'm using this aperture. We had to put a little quarter CTO into it because in this house with the sort of a daylight LED mix, house LEDs, it's like 4200 uh, Kelvin that I'm sort of putting all my lights at. So we had to warm that up a little bit because it's daylight only fixture. But uh, works well with the DMX. We had to make its own little profile because it's not in the system library but that was pretty straightforward. So learning this new software within sort of a familiar environment where all the components are pretty straightforward has been a great way to kind of uh, get into the depth of this uh, software. So, so one cool thing about this program is that you can get sort of a, a visual of your layout. Uh, there's a graphical inter interface, you pick out uh, little graphics that represent your your fixtures and you can put them in the setup that you have sort of like a stage you know the way you've got your lights set up and then you can visually um, you can grab them to um, change their value uh, you can make uh, there's virtual submasters so I can go between the master and the submaster on this sort of visual platform to change the lights and uh, that's that's really nice. Uh, that's what I was kind of looking for that I didn't have with Luminaire, where you know I always wanted to pinch the window so I could make it smaller and see everything. Here I can see everything in one window, and that's awesome. So as I get deeper into this, maybe I'll go to a touchscreen PC that'd probably be slicker. But at this point, it's uh, it's a nice way to get into this world. So. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.